help you with um, decay problems, radioactive decay. Um, the radioactive decay of something kind of follows the same. I mean, this is going to look very similar to our continuous um, growth or uninhibited growth. The only difference here is to notice that it says that k is less than zero. If you're if it's a decay problem, your rate is always going to be negative when you put it into your formula so that your population will get smaller or your size will get smaller rather than larger. Okay, So that's one thing you always want to watch for is make sure when you put those rates in, they're negative if it says that it is decay rather than growth. So let's try this problem out. A material decays at a rate of 0.02% per year. If you start with 650 grams of material, how much will be left after 80 years? Okay, so the parts of our formula, here is our rate. Again, when we put that in the formula, we're going to want it to be negative because of the decay, and we also want to change it to a decimal uh, rather than a percent, so we're going to move the decimal two places to the left. So our rate will be 0 0.0002. If you start with 650 a gram, so this is our initial amount, or a naught from the formula, um, or excuse me, I should have put k for the rate rather than r, bad habit. <laughs> okay, how much will be left after 80 years, so that's our amount of time t, we're fi trying to find a of t. So we have a of t is going to be equal to a naught, a with the little zero is called a naught, 650 e to the k is negative 0 0.0002 times the amount of time, which is 80. So again, order of operations, super important here. We want to find out what that exponent is first. And I get 0 0.016, negative 0 0.016. Now we find out what our value is there. We do the exponent. So we're going to do e to the negative 0 0.016 power. I'm going to leave that number in my calculator so I can get closer to the exact answer. Just for purposes of double checking with you, you should get something around 0.9841. And then I multiply by 650. And I get 639.68. I'm going to round that to 640. Okay, so how much is left? 640 grams. So after um, 80 years, it hasn't decayed all that much. Notice that was a fairly small rate of decay. Most important things on decay problems, make sure you put a negative for your rate. Okay. Um, and make sure you follow the order of operations. Exponents come first before multiplication. All right, a material decays at a rate of 0.5% per year. There's our k. And we, again, we want to make sure and remember that that's going to be a negative number when we put that into the formula. How long until only 40% of the original material is left? Now notice we have a problem here. They didn't tell us how much we had originally. They also didn't tell us time. That's what we're trying to find. All they told us is that they wanted only 40% of the original material left. Well, notice 40% of something. You can find that by multiplying by 0.4. So our original amount is a naught e to the negative point. Make sure you put your decimal. K rather than a percent, so a 0 0.005, we don't know the time T, but we know in the end we want to end up with 0.4 of our original amount, or 40% of the original amount. Okay, now notice our first step, we're trying to find T, so we need to isolate the E to the negative 0 0.005 T. I'm going to divide both sides by a naught, and notice split as can be, those cancel. And so now I only have one variable to solve for, which is super nice, because <laughs> that makes it solvable. Uh, what are we going to have to do to solve this? We need to get that t down out of the exponent. 
How do we do that? We take the log of both sides. We're going to use natural log here. Again, we want to use natural log anytime um, we have ease in our problem. Okay, the natural log of E is 1. So I just have negative 0.005t is equal to the natural log of 0.4. And I divide both sides by negative 0.005. And that will tell me how long it's going to take before I have only 40% of the substance left. Now again, be very careful here. Do the natural log of 0.4 and press equals and then divide by uh, negative 0 0.005 or put the negative 0 0.005 in parentheses or your calculator will not give you the right answer. You should get about, just to check yourself, you should get about 183 if you round to the nearest year. So it would take 183 years before it decays so that there's only 40% of the substance left. So again, it's very important to look at what you have and decide, okay, where am I going to go from there? And this, again, is the K problem. Most important or super important is that rate K is always going to be negative anytime they tell you you're working with DK.